with it being a cargo vessel, it's uh, very capable in different areas. The main one, we've got the two main cargo hatches at the forward end of the ship, uh, hatch number one, hatch number two. Uh, so both of those uh, holds can hold up to 48 uh, 20 foot containers. The number one holds basically for dangerous goods, you know, such as jet fuel and those things. Hold number two is separated over a couple of decks, so sometimes it can be like a big game of Tetris, shifting containers and uh, other bits of equipment around the place. There's what's called pontoon decks on two different levels. And when we open the hatches, we need to remove those pontoons so we can reach down into the decks below, lift gear out, then put the pontoons back and move to the next section. When it comes to moving cargo on a ship, every bit of space is crucial. So it can appear that it's pretty tight and it just takes a bit of time, a bit of guidance, a bit of training and familiarisation. But the key thing is that we need to fit as much cargo on as we can so we jam it in there so we can uh, resupply the bases to the full potential. The two forward cranes are both capable of lifting 55 tonnes of weight. They're knuckle boom cranes, so they're uh, quite manoeuvrable. Both those cranes can reach all areas of both those hatches, or on some occasions we will be able to use both of them at the same time. We've got an alleyway on deck number four where we can uh, forklift things down to this aft science deck. We've got a side platform door that we can lay down to 90 degrees and use our 15 tonne heli deck crane and lift them onto the back of the heli deck. Sometimes we'll be doing sling loads with the helicopters ashore. So we've got the two barges on the fore deck. Both of those are capable of carrying over 45 tonne. So if we've got both of those moving, it's going to be a lot more equipment than we've ever been able to move before in the past. Um, so just looking forward to how that unfolds. We can actually refuel two stations now. We're in the past, it's only been one at a time. So it should be a, a far more efficient cargo transfer moving into the future. Very exciting. So. For a lot of people, we've been waiting for this project for quite a number of years and to actually be over here, uh, one of the first Australian seamen to get on here and get their hands on the gear, it's been a great opportunity. And the skills that we're gaining now, just being able to go through our procedures, get used to the gear, do all the training and be ready for the Antarctic season is absolutely valuable.